Hello everyone. So as you may remember, yesterday we worked on our warm and cool concentric shapes. So today you're going to need your finished warm colored sheet filled with your concentric shapes and your finished cool color sheet. We're going to carefully fold one of our sheets long ways so our paper is nice and tall. See how long my paper is? We're going to fold it up and down instead of left and right. Now I'm creating a dotted line on my paper. That way I know not to cut beyond that point. You don't need to do that, but I like having that line there to remind me not to cut all the way through my page. So now I am just cutting lines right through my folded sheet of paper. I'm trying to make these lines as even as I can with one another, but they do not need to be perfect. So now we should have our paper that is folded long ways with all of our slits in it. And when we open it up, we have all of these awesome lines. Perfect. Now we're going to leave that to the side while we work on our next sheet. So this sheet, as you can see, I'm folding a little bit differently. So this sheet, I folded the short way. I did not fold it so my paper is tall and I also left a little border on the top. So I did not fold my paper perfectly in half. I left that border where we can still see a little bit of our artwork. Now I'm doing the same thing and I'm carefully cutting some strips through my paper. But as you can see, I'm not going all the way to the end. I'm stopping right where I made that fold right where that border is. Now this step is optional but I find it helpful. So we're going to line our two sheets of paper up and we are going to lay them on top of each other. We're going to grab a piece of tape and after we lay these pieces right on top of each other we're just going to tape them together at the top. Just like this, that way we don't have our paper flopping all over the place. It's gonna stay nice and neat. It's gonna stay together. Okay, so now it's time for our weaving portion. It doesn't matter which page you put on top versus which page you put at the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're going to take our strands and we are going to start with the second strand in and we're just gonna go above and below each of our strips of paper on our other sheet. See how I'm weaving that blue colored paper up and down between my red colored paper? This is called weaving. So I'm just continuing this all the way through to the bottom of my page in this pattern. Up, down, up, down. Now it's time to do the same thing with the next strip of paper. But watch what happens if I go in the same order. I started by going up and through on the last row, and if I start by going up and through on this row, we're just gonna have a stripe of blue paper. So we need to alternate it. So I'm gonna pull that paper back out through the back. It's a little tricky, but this row I'm gonna start right there, right underneath where I started the first one. That way we have a nice woven pattern and it's alternating between warm and cool, warm and cool. So now I'm just continuing that pattern all the way through and like I said before you're gonna ignore the strips on the very very end because they're really going to be challenging to fit in since we made our border. 
See how I left these two strips out of the equation? No problem. What we're going to do now is we can either rip it or carefully cut it off. We can't use these because we made our border on our original sheet of paper, so we don't have enough space. Awesome. So here is what our woven design should look like. So now if you flip your artwork over, you're going to see this checkerboard pattern. That's a little easier to see when you're not looking at it on the drawing side. And you're going to notice these little tabs. You can choose to tape them down or just leave them alone. So I hope everyone has so much fun weaving their warm and cool concentric shapes together. No matter what method you use, the colored paper versus the white paper, these are going to look great. So make sure you take your time, pause this video whenever you need to, and have fun.